today, we'll be talking about mixed numbers and fractions greater than one. Ready? This is Daniel. He really loves baseball. His team had a great season, so they decided to celebrate with a pizza party. Daniel wanted to figure out how much pizza was left over, so he drew a quick sketch in his math notebook. One pizza had five eighths left, another pizza had three eighths left, and the final pizza also had three eighths left. Daniel added up the fractions in his notebook. 5 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 11 eighths. 11 eighths is a fraction greater than 1. Daniel ran to tell his mom. She asked him if he had at least a whole pizza left. He wasn't sure. He took another look at his drawing. Sure enough, he could take three pieces from one pizza and add them to the other pizza to make a whole. Now he had one whole and three eighths. He ran back to tell his mom that eleven eighths is equivalent to one and three eighths. She told him one and three eighths is a mixed number. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction together. To find a mixed number, you need to know how much one whole is. In this case, 8 eighths is one whole. Let's find a mixed number for 14 eighths. First, subtract out one whole, or 8 eighths. That gives us 6 eighths left. We have one whole and 6 eighths. 14 eighths is the same as 1 and 6 eighths. Let's try another fraction greater than 1, 15 sixths. First, subtract out 1 whole. That's 6 sixths. Now we have 9 sixths. But wait, that's still a fraction greater than 1. So take out another whole. That gives us 3 sixths. We have 2 wholes. We also have 3 sixths. So, 15 sixths is a fraction greater than 1, and it is the same as the mixed number 2 and 3 sixths. Today you learn to find a mixed number by first finding one whole. Then you subtract one whole from the fraction greater than 1 until you can't subtract anymore. Count how many holes you have and put it next to the fraction that you have left. Great job, everyone. Keep practicing.